<sighs> What's up everybody? Welcome back. So this last weekend I went camping, I went to a few different places, but it was kind of the first opportunity that I had to try out the bed platform in the back of my truck. So while I was out there, it's not the first time that I've slept in the bed, but it's the first time that I slept on the bed platform. And I noticed something. So for me to fully stretch out in the back of my truck, I have to sleep diagonally in the bed, like this. Because if I try and sleep straight, it ends up a little bit more like this which is only a problem if I'm camping with a friend. If I'm sleeping by myself, I can sleep diagonally. It's not a big deal. But I started thinking, what if I built something that extended the sleeping platform onto the tailgate as well? And while it would give me about an extra foot and a half of space, I didn't want to sacrifice my ability to be sheltered from the elements, animals. Not that I'm like super worried about animals, but you know, I don't wanna deal with that. So I needed to find a way to extend it out, but also keep myself covered from the elements so I wasn't completely exposed. And I think I have a pretty good idea. So the bed platform is gonna come all the way out to the back of the tailgate, but I still have to compensate for what's happening up here because I have the glass up, the tailgate's down, so it kind of exposes this whole back piece to the elements. And I think the way that I'm gonna compensate for that is by using a tent. This is the only thing that I've done for the bed platform. I've cut it to size and then I've added the middle support. I still have the back supports that I have to add in. And then I have this whole tent that I got from a thrift store for 15 bucks. Uh, I need to figure out how I'm going to make that work and how I'm going to cut that up and make it stick up here on the back. Let me set it up and I'll show you what it looks like conceptually in my head. Okay, so this is the zipper for the door. And I'm thinking I'm thinking the zipper will go basically dead center in the middle. These corners will come over here and then this basically will come out down this way. I'm going to get some tape. This is purely for concept. Okay, so theoretically not so bad, right? Like it looks like it's gonna work. Even if I had the platform sitting out here as well, this would pretty much just come up to about there. So I think if I just use the green section of the tent, then it should be plenty for the door. Because I only need the front section of the door, I don't need the rest of the tent. So let's make some cuts. Okay, now we can really see how it would look conceptually. What do you guys think? Let's see if I can get up here. It's probably stable enough. Oh yeah, not sketchy at all. Okay, so here's the way this is gonna work. I'm gonna get some Velcro and I'm gonna put it all along the top of the roof right here. And then I'm gonna sew it onto the fabric of the tent. And that way, instead of being taped or on the outside of the truck, I can have it sitting on the inside. That way I can still close the glass down. And then I'm thinking I'll do the same thing on the tailgate for the bottom pieces. They can just Velcro on there and everything should work. Day number two, I couldn't get any further than I got last night because I don't know how to sew. But I'm at my parents' house, my mom knows how to sew, and I've pretty much marked everything the way it needs to be sewn with the Velcro. So I have the Velcro here, and then on the tent, I've marked black lines all the way around where I want that Velcro to be. And then the soft part of the Velcro is gonna go here, and then you guys already know what my plan is with the Velcro on the inside of the shell. <laughs> That's me. Mom? It's ready. Can you sew it? I can sew it better than you. <laughs> Deal. We're gonna do it. Look at her sewing room. <laughs> this is some next level sewing room, Mom. 
It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> she does stuff like this, and I can sew buttons. This was like a, a champion winning quilt at one of the county fairs. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. Okay, so right now we're putting the Velcro strip along the top, we're pinning it before we sew it. There's the section on the bottom that we'll do, and then we'll use this fancy looking sewing machine and sew it all up. So while she's doing that, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna put the other sticky side onto the shell. So on the inside of the cap, the final place that I'm gonna put these Velcro strips is right here. So basically up here along the frame of the shell is where those are gonna go. And then once it hits the pillar, it's gonna go down the pillar right here, come out along either the tailgate or the sideboard. I haven't decided which one yet. And then it'll go along the outside of the tailgate right here and repeat. Cool, so the sewing part is done. I'm gonna head back to my place and I'm gonna finish up the rest of it. Mom, thank you for sewing this for me. You're welcome, happy camping. Now I can sleep too, let's go. Moms are great, aren't they? I honestly don't know if I could have finished this as quickly as I'm going to if my mom didn't know how to sew. I have the Velcro around the inside as well as on the pillars on the side. The only thing that I have left is to put a strip down the tailgate right here. But I also think I'm gonna put a board down in the center right here in between the boards that are on the platform just to kind of stabilize them. The boards do move just a little bit just because they're on hinges. And then if I put the strip of Velcro on there, I don't have to put it on the back of my tailgate. And it's all kind of removable. So I like the idea. So here's the setup. We got the Velcro, have the boards that go in between the base beams. And then the Velcro goes all the way around up inside the cab, or up inside the bed, all the way around, back down, and back on that side. It's time to make sure it works and then see what kind of camping setup this is gonna create. So that's what it's gonna look like. Let me walk you through. So I wanted the top to be kind of free so that I could get it around the light up here. Everything else is pretty much just Velcroed into place. So it's all solid, kind of looks like it's all one piece. Sides all Velcroed in there. And then Velcro's in on the back back here. So back here, it's all Velcroed in as well. And then down here on the bottom, here to pull up on it. That's all Velcroed in right there. And then right here, it's all Velcroed in under where the screen is at. So all of this is Velcroed as well, just to that baseboard. And then the extra is just tucked in this corner right here. So it, pretty, it cleans up pretty well. What I wanted was something that I could have that would extend the foot area out, giving me some extra space to stretch out. But I also wanted to be able to close this glass piece as well. So if it was windy or something like that, I could still come out, I could close this down and I can lock these hatches on the side so that it locks everything in, and keeps everything pretty tight and secure and wind's not going crazy inside where I'm trying to sleep. And then you still have about six or seven inches or so down here where your feet can go so you don't completely run out of space. You can still have your feet sticking out on the platform here and everybody's happy. So this is what it looks like sitting inside the shell. With the extension, what I can do so I can be all the way straight, I can be laying down, like right here, and still kick my feet out, whereas before, I would have had to have slept more like that. I still have access to the dome light, I can use it whenever I want, and then everything else is pretty much sealed up, so all of this, it's all sealed up with the Velcro, so there's not going to be any bugs getting in. If it does get hot in here during the summertime, I can either open up the door here on the tent screen, or I can open up either of the windows on the side of the shell, and those would 
act as really good ventilation sources. It's still very easily removable, which is what I wanted out of this. And so all I have to do is take the platform out and I can actually flip it upside down and slide it underneath the current bed platform so I can take it with me. It's very portable. And that's exactly what I wanted out of this build. So mission accomplished, extended it out. I'm pretty happy with the camper setup. Now all I have to do is go and test it out. Thanks a ton for watching guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.